Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm so honored to be here to present our paper. I'm Yu Ying, and I will present our paper name is The Association of Internet Use with Subjective Wellbeing, an Empirical Study Based on CGSS 2017. And this paper are contributed by the Yu Rongyan, Yu Ying Deng, Huan Jose Igadua, and Xia Gang Song. We, about this paper, we are talking about the uh, social media usages and subject well-being. Subject well-being is linked to a variety of positive outcomes, including improved health and longevity. Um, this paper focuses on the behaviors of internet use in relation to the frequency of use, range of interaction, and network centrality. It also further exposes the uh, contribution of digital media to the enhancement of personal subjective well-being. Subjective well-being is a holistic assessment of individuals' life quality. It contains three components, pleasant effect, unpleasant effect, and life satisfaction. Actually, there is a continuous Nuisance debates regarding to the relationship between internet use and well-being. Following those debates, um, our uh, this leads to the first research question: Does internet use have an association with res residents' subjective well-being in a representative all ages sample of the Chinese population? Also, we propose the first hypothesis. A greater frequency of internet use will be associated with a higher subjective well-being of individuals. And evidence from many studies suggests that online communication expands relationship networks for communication and further enhances subjective well-being. So we also propose a second hypothesis. Individuals with a larger online relationship size have higher levels of subject well-being. In addition, people's position and influence in their relationship networks are also found to be associated with subject well-being. So the second hypothesis is about the individuals in the online relationship centrality will have higher levels of subject well-being. And we ad additionally ask the research question, does internet use have different effects on different age, age groups? As mentioned above, this study used data from the 2017 CGSS. This is the, the representative data about China's current social situation. And this paper measures four variables, including subjective well-being, frequency of internet usage, online relationship size and online relationship centrality. We, and we use the regression model test and heterogeneity analysis. The, the, the results are very meaningful. Firstly, we found that the results support our prediction that the frequency of internet use is positively associated with subject well-being. The results demonstrate that online relationship size and online relationship centrality are positively related to the subjective well-being. Also, a meaningful difference is observed among the age groups of respondents. Online relationship centrality has a more obvious association with subjective well-being in the young group. The online relationship size is weak, positively linked to the subject well-being of the middle group. Okay, that's the main content of our paper, and thank you for your listening.